I'm gonna ask y'all again. Y'all ready for your next comic? Make some noise. All right, man, this dude right here is one of the young guys in the comedy scene, but I was already one of my favorite comics in the world. Give it up for the very funny Jeff Jones! <laughs> How y'all test two babies doing? Y'all all right? God damn it. Thought I was coming with compliments, huh? No, I'm, I'm, I'm telling the truth tonight. It's a nice little mixed crowd up here. Nice little mixed crowd looking at y'all. I can I could see y'all products of broken homes and broken condoms. That's what the hell y'all look like from up here. I can't talk too much, though. I'm gonna mistake myself. But believe it or not, I actually came from a two-parent household. Yeah. Neither one of them was my parents. <laughs> but they did treat me just like one of their own. Yeah. They put the light bill and the gas bill in my name. See y'all clapping at that shit? <laughs> y'all ain't shit just like them. I'll go ahead and uh, address the elephant in the room, too. Y'all probably looking at me right now, wondering when Trace McGrady started doing comedy. Yes, I know. I know, I know, yes. People, people been calling me T-Mac for years. I don't see it. And I'm pretty sure he wouldn't see it either with that lazy-ass eye that he got. <laughs> T-Mac can look you in the face and tell you what kind of shoes he got on, man. I'm telling you. Don't tell him I said that. Don't, <laughs> don't tell him I said that. Uh, but I don't get it. I don't understand why people get me confused with him. He's 6'8". I'm 6'4". And that is the last time I'm saying that tonight. A few of y'all already asked me this. How tall are you? How tall are you? I'm tired of getting that question, man. I don't get it. I don't see why people are always asking tall people about their height. I don't see nobody asking fat people how much they weigh. Yeah, I like you, I'll take you wherever I go, God damn it. but uh, <laughs> yeah, see, you missed it, I, you're fired. But, <laughs> but I don't mean that with any offense, I don't want any of the big people to get offended for me saying that. Catch me if you can anyway, but. <laughs> God damn it. But seriously, seriously, I mean that with no disrespect, man. To be perfectly honest with you, I actually love big women, man. Fellas, make some noise if you love the big girls in here. Don't get in the benefit of the doubt. A lot of y'all that's in here silent, y'all probably silently fucking one and just don't want to admit to the shit right now, goddammit. Say it with no shame, man. No shame at all. I love me a big old woman, but not just your ordinary big girl, though. I like them real big. My type of woman look like she carrying a sandwich in her purse. That's my girl. It's my woman. You walk in her house and her refrigerator's got kids. That's my girl. I'm serious, man. Y'all think I'm playing, man. My ex-girlfriend, she was a big girl. Just like her, our relationship didn't work out. Y'all might not be test two babies. Y'all might not. My best friend, though, he's actually on the wave, too. He actually likes some plump, but he likes some more on the manly side. Like, his girl look like she could play middle linebacker for the Texans. I call her J.J. Twat. <laughs> Y'all laughing at J.J. J.J.'s a good woman. J.J. is actually a Kanye West fan. That's why I came out to the Kanye. Wait, where, where the Kanye West fans at? Okay, I, I blame that for the Kanye fans that clapped. I blame that mediocre response on them damn Kardashians. And y'all cheering for them more. Y'all ain't. The Kardashians are poison. I don't know if y'all knew this. Kanye West is about to die, okay? The Kardashians are murderers. The Kardashians killed Bruce Jenner. It's the truth, man, it's the truth. They almost got rid of Lamar Odom. They just got rid of all his money. 
The man went from being Lamar Odom the millionaire to Lamar Odom, 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 Odom. It's all fucked up. Fuck that man life up, man. He went from smoking a little weed to smoking crack. I'm a little high right now. Uh, we got any weed heads, weed heads, weed heads? I'm not sharing. I'm actually just trying to figure out. My weed man went to jail last week, so I'm trying to find me a new plug, okay? I appreciate, hey, we gonna have to talk. I've been having to get weed from this shady cat, man, my backup weed man. He's, he's real paranoid. You always gotta meet him at one of them half pizza, half Taco Bell drive-thrus to get your weed. I can't stand him, man, and he, and he cheap. You know, most weed men, they give you weed in the plastic bag. No, this brother gives you weed wrapped in foil paper like it's a barbecue sausage link at the cookout. I ought to be a half ounce. I thought he's giving me a half rack of ribs. I didn't know what the hell. Cool already said this. I'm gonna say it a little different. If you black and you're proud in here tonight, make some noise, goddamn it. You black and you're proud. I like that, man. I love hearing that. I love being a black man too. Except around the police. I took it there, yes, I took it there. But in all seriousness, man, I, when the police come around, I wish I could just change colors like Michael Jackson. <laughs> I'm serious, Michael Jackson was a smart man. There wasn't no disease that that man had. He turned himself into the last person the police would be worried about. A white woman, that's exactly. <laughs> I'm serious, yeah, the proof is in the pudding, in 91, Rodney King got beat. In 92, Michael Jackson was a full brunette. I'm telling you, go check the videos. Go check the videos. I do want to say this too on behalf of the black community. What white people have done to that chicken at Chick-fil-A is simply remarkable, goddammit. I'm... I really just want to thank y'all for that. Thank y'all. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now, now I, I do want to talk to the couples in here real quick, because I used to do relationship counseling before I did this whole little comedy thing. Some of y'all might not believe me or not. I do have some, I see it's a few interracial couples in here. Interracial dating is at an all-time high, people. I don't know if y'all knew this. I read in Cosmopolitan Magazine. Yeah, yeah, you gotta do your reading. You gotta do your reading. That 73% of white women desire sex with black men. Now, now, now. Now calm down. Now, I'm sure some of you guys, I see a few white couples in here. I'm sure you're probably wondering if your lady is a nigger lover. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. <laughs> it's real quick and easy to figure out this information. All you have to do is take her out to Dairy Queen for ice cream cones. <laughs> if she orders that chocolate dip cone. She wants some chocolate dip dick. That's exactly what she wants. <laughs> now, some of the ladies, they'll try to, after hearing this, they'll try to throw you off. They'll go there and they'll order an Oreo Blizzard. <laughs> that just means she like them half and half. <laughs> like President Obama, Drake, or one of those mulatto cats. <laughs> now, she go in there and she order that peanut butter Blizzard, that means she like them real light skinned like Chris Brown. And she's probably been beaten a couple of her past relationships. I'm a terrible person. Yes, I'm a terrible person. The clock winded down on me. Uh, I want to get my shout outs out the way real quick. I want to give a shout out to my little cousin, Peanut. He was supposed to come here tonight. The boy was actually born with one testicle. He's always wanted to do stand up. He just never had the balls to get on stage, goddammit. Just... I, I will tell you about my first time smoking weed. So my first time smoking weed before I got my, uh, don't, don't judge me for this. I'm, my first time smoking weed was actually at Beaver Lake Baptist Church. <laughs> I'm sure some of y'all looking at me wondering, 
and thinking I'm going to hell for this. I was with the preacher's son. I know the Lord was with us. I didn't have no worries the whole time we was doing this. <laughs> now, I was messed up. We were smoking in his daddy's car in the middle of the church service. Yeah, Rev was mad as hell when he got back to his car. Because he couldn't find his weed. That's exactly why Rev was mad. <laughs> Rev was serving weed and serving the Lord, but I served my time. I'm Jeff Jaw. I appreciate y'all. She didn't don't make no money, but she won't drop out. Her parents are looking at her funny. Now, tell me that ain't insecure. Young Jeff Jaw,